Hey y'all, Bobby Hughes here with HP Firearms and I'm back to bring you another video on our windmill that we're working on here and uh, or wind turbine, whatever you want to call it. Uh, in today's video I think what we're going to do uh, at this point we are at the stage of working on our windmill platform or our turbine platform. And the platform is an important part because there's a lot of balancing in it and uh, it consists of everything from the forward motor mount for the actual generator or the turbine all the way back to the wind direction fin all right the vane that actually turns the windmill into the wind all right um, so it's going to be a, a little bit of a balancing technique to get everything exactly how i want it and uh, to try to help distribute the weight of the motor on the front as opposed to the lightness of the fin on the back. So uh, the fin tends to usually be further out there than the front of the motor just to help balance it out. So we have to play around with it a little bit. So basically what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be using this quarter inch thick uh, one and a half inch wide piece of steel here, this flat steel. It's, man, it's solid, and I don't think it's going to bend very much or get, have very much play in it. I'm going to use this as a support. This isn't actually going to be the platform. This is going to be the support for the platform. What we're going to do is we're going to cut off the top of this pipe here um, that we have our washer welded to, and then this will actually bore a hole in this for the wiring to run down in, and then this will actually weld right up here on top of the pipe. And then on top of that, we're going to use a piece of one inch uh, square tubing to run out to put to build our motor mount on as well as come back off the back and put our vein, our directional uh, fin on the back. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and disassemble the, uh, the battery box from the uh, center spindle, take that out and get to work on it. and. Uh, I'll show you guys as we go. Alright guys, so I've taken the, uh, the spindle out of our uh, windmill base and I've, I've taken the battery box out as well and I've just got this our, uh, our spindle screwed into the, the flange on the battery box just as a platform to hold it while I'm working on it. And all I've done here is, is I've taken and, and welded around the pipe and the washer on the top and then grinded it down to make a nice smooth even finish that's going to add a lot of strength and stability to our washer as well so now it's a solid piece that's mounted to the top of this pipe here now what i have here is a piece of quarter inch thick inch and a half wide standard weldable steel and uh I've marked it right in the middle. It's 36 inches long, so we are at um, 18 inches in the dead center. And I went ahead and drilled a hole in the center of it so that I could line it up when I weld it on here with the hole on my pipe so that I can still run my wires down through the center of my pipe. This, this piece of steel right here is going to be our main support for our uh, one inch square tubing that we're going to use as our main boom arm. All right, so this is just a platform. Uh, and like I've talked about so far, we're building it in, in phases. This platform is gonna be permanent to the spindle. We're actually gonna weld it on here. And then we'll have our, our boom arm that goes on that is removable for maintenance. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this welded on here. So now the next step is to build our um, 
actual windmill frame that is going to hold the motor and it's also going to hold on the back we're going to fabricate a vane that will help change direction in the wind uh, or will help the uh, the windmill itself change direction in the wind so uh, let's get started on that So, I've started working on the um, actual windmill frame now that the motor and our vane that will change the direction of the windmill, I started working on all the pieces for that and I've got most of it put together now. Um, bear with me guys, if you guys are um, dealing with a bunch of flies this year, they just cut the corn yesterday so uh, the flies are going nuts. And there's probably like a thousand flies swarming around here right now. So try to uh, keep them out of the, off the camera the best I can. But sometimes I like to get on the camera and, and walk around on the lens or whatever. But anyway, if anybody's got any, uh, you know, home remedies to get, get rid of flies without hanging up a bunch of uh, fly strips, then uh, that'd be much appreciated. Leave that in the comments below. But anyway, back to what we're working on here. So... Like I said, I'm using a one inch steel uh, piece of steel tubing. I've cut it 46 inches long. And this is going to be what the actual, this is actually going to set on top of that piece of flat quarter inch thick steel that we've already mounted to our pivot tube. All right, so this is 46 inches long. What I've done is I've drilled a hole up here in the front. And that is going to be for our wires off of our generator to run down inside. And then there's a wire back here as well, or a hole back here as well. And that hole will line up on the um, in the center of our uh, our uh, spindle for our wire to come out of and run down to the battery box. All right, so I've got that installed now, uh, or I've got those holes drilled. So this is going to be the back where the fin goes. And I've already cut the pieces for back there. One thing I want to point out again on the front here before we move on is this is my mount for my motor, for my generator that I'm going to be using. And we'll go over the motor and the electrical components and stuff in the next video. But this is going to mount right up here on the front. And it's a little bit wider than the actual tubing itself. So what I've done is I've just taken a couple short pieces of angle iron. And I'm going to butt these up and tack them right to the top of the uh, tube like that. And then that way I can get my motor mount a flush place to mount to, flush place to weld to. Alright, so that'll be on the front. And then on the back, I've actually went ahead, actually went ahead and cut the framework and the panels for our directional pad. Alright, so what we'll do is come off the back here. And we'll put a piece in like this, and then we'll put a piece in this way, and then we have our direction or our angle piece here. So we got the frame just like that, and then once we weld our frame all together, then I'll take these panels and weld to both sides. And that'll be our frame and our panel for the rear that helps change the direction when the wind changes direction. So anyway, I'll go ahead and get all this welded up, 
and then uh, we'll go ahead and get this installed on our base and our frame and everything we've already got done. Alright, so uh, be back with you in a few minutes. Alright guys, so I've got the frame of our windmill um, of the, uh, the upper part framed in now and I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing here. I want to make the, the whole windmill assembly removable. I want to be able to take it apart from our spindle and our platform. Uh, one, because it makes it easier to run the wires. Um, and two, uh, if we ever have to do maintenance or anything like that, I would rather be able to take this top part off as to have to haul the whole thing around. So, what I've done is I've drilled uh, four quarter inch holes. I got our, I've got our frame lined up on our platform and I bored four quarter inch holes and I ran four quarter inch machine bolts up through the holes and then put a nut on them and then I went back and welded the nut to the frame so that now I can simply remove the bolt from underneath and pull that the rest of the way out and take the frame once I take all four of them out I can actually pull the frame right off and that prevents us from having to weld it directly to the platform and uh, I think overall that'll be the best bet so um, we'll see how it works like I said this is experimental I'm not a professional windmill builder or anything but uh, I think this is going to work out just fine then on the front here I took two pieces of channel and welded them to the frame uh, and then also welded our, tacked our motor mount on there, so that's ready to go. Holes are already drilled here for the wiring from the motor, and then there's a hole underneath here to run down through the bottom. And one other thing that I've decided to do is I actually I drill a hole back here and then up here on top of our frame, and what I'll do is run one set of wires from the motor down to the battery, and then we'll actually go to the voltage regulator We'll go over the electrical stuff in another video, but then another wire that comes up and it'll run in between these panels here and I'm going to mount a little 12 volt red light on top of the vein here and then that way um, you'll know that there's power coming from the battery which means that our generator is actually charging our battery. Two, I think it'll look cool at night to have that little light up on top, so we'll put a light on there. Um, so anyway guys, that's pretty much it on this part. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish tacking it all together now and uh, get our panels put in on the back and I'll be back with you when I get it done. Alright guys, so the uh, the top frame is done now. We've got our vein back there all finished up and uh, what I did was I just went ahead, once I got it done I went ahead and, and polished it up to get all the the uh, slag and everything off from welding and then I just stuck it up there and tightened it down uh, or snugged it down I didn't really tighten it down we got our mount on the front here so that's done now you can see here what I was talking about earlier I had to uh, put those two little pieces of angle iron on there so that it gave the mount a little bit more stout platform to mount on so we got that all done and uh, I think the weight is going to work out perfect for a balance. It actually worked out better than I planned for it to. But it um, spins nice. Give it a little spin here. And uh, it spins real nice. Battery box spins like it's supposed to with it. So, uh, yeah, it turned out real good. Anyway, guys, um, I will, uh, at the end of the project, once I get everything all finished up and done, I will um, do try to draw up some plans, just some rough plans with the measurements and stuff on it. So if you don't catch them during the uh, the build, during the videos, then you'll have that option available to you too. Anyway, in the next video, guys, we're going to start working on the electrical, and I'm going to show you what kind of motor I'm using uh, to make a generator and the components that we need to one keep the power flowing in one direction regulate the power so that when the wind spins really or blows really hard and it spins it really fast we don't overcharge our battery 
and then uh, I'm also going to show you uh, a couple of other little tricks with the electrical. So anyway guys, until the next video, um, I hope you guys enjoy the progress so far and uh, the way everything's going. Um, go ahead and if you're not already subscribed, subscribe so that you can be updated when we do the, the rest of the videos. And if this is the first video you've watched, go ahead and uh, go back and check the other videos out. Uh, leave any comments or questions that you might have in the comments below. And don't, forgive, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I appreciate those. Anyway, guys, until next time, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun. See you guys later.